One month of patience, skill, and determination got me this close to the belted kingfisher. Ever since I started taking wildlife photos seriously back in 2020, I have wanted to capture a photo of the belted kingfisher up close. Now, I know what you're thinking. Three years and you still haven't achieved that? Well, I've come close so many times along this river, I even have a decent photo I captured printed in my room. But the truth is, my casual photography style has kept me far from this goal. So, for the last month I've been coming to this pond, where I knew there were tons of different birds I could work with to build my skills. Some friendlier than others. There was even a pair of female belted kingfishers, and from my experience over the last few summers of chasing the kingfishers up and down the river, I knew the only way I would get close is with the use of camouflage and a whole lot of patience. I bought a 3D camouflage net and I set it up between these two trees. It worked great on the great blue heron, but the kingfisher didn't appear that day, so I set out one more time to finally capture the belted kingfisher. We'll see what we get today. So I was gonna film some B-roll today for this video, but it looks like today's the day for the Kingfisher. At least that's gonna be the hopes. I got set up before he even knew I was here, so this is perfect. He just showed up to the fishing spot. So it's time to be really quiet and just hope for the best. Downside today, it's extremely windy. It's gonna be difficult to keep the end of the lens covered. Now we wait. So I've got an upgrade in mind for my whole setup here. I need some type of drawstring to go around the end of the lens that I basically attach it to the actual netting itself so that when I put the camera through it, I can tighten it on and leave it at that length. It's too loose there. I need it to stay a little bit closer on the front and cover the whole white of this lens. I'm gonna truth, he's coming closer. This is the halfway mark that he's already made it to plenty of times before, but he would never come closer to me. So, we'll see what happens here. The kingfisher flew over, but I lost track of him extremely quickly. Okay, so I just got out to the pond. It's extremely hot today. The kingfisher's right beside me. Okay, so we definitely need them to get closer today. I put the 1.4 times teleconverter on, which is gonna get us a little more reach. The only problem with that is with it being such an extremely hot day, we risk uh, heat distortion, different kind of artifacts in the air like that that are going to make us miss focus or just get a bad photo altogether. So unfortunately, the kingfisher watched me set up, but that's today's setup. Oh, there he is. There's our kingfisher friend. The shots are full of heat distortion today. Doesn't look too bad though. She is just watching for fish to catch. So, I think the second kingfisher, the male kingfisher, might be here today because I just heard a second kingfisher's call while mine wasn't doing anything. So, here's the part I didn't plan very well. Once I do get the kingfisher down this way, where do I want him to land? Where am I expecting him to land? I don't have view of any of the trees that are the closest to me. 
the trees that are in front of me don't really look that promising for a kingfisher to bother landing on. So you got one in behind the trees there. Looks like a male, I see. I mean some female, I see brown on it. And then the other up here. Now unless maybe the male and female switched spots when I wasn't paying attention, I think they're both females. Finally, after all that time and effort, I had a split second opportunity to capture a photo. I just saw one of the kingfishers fly over my head. So for the time being, they're not in the pond anymore, I don't believe. I'm gonna keep it down here just in case the animals do start to return. But I was so excited and panicking so hard when I, when I realized the kingfisher was just over there, right across from me. The reason I was panicking so much, as you guys saw in the shots there, the, uh, the foliage right in front of my lens here was in the foreground, which was blocking a clear view to see the kingfisher. Thankfully, the kingfisher perched in one of the trees I did not expect it to land in. I'm gonna have to finalize my conclusion, but I'm pretty darn sure that camouflage is extremely important for certain subjects and different types of wildlife photography, this being one of them. So, it might not have been the perfect shot, but it was undeniably an achievement and a significant milestone in my photography journey.